Rice cake, aka dok, is a truly essential and delicious part of Korean food culture. As an ingredient, and in its most basic form, it consists of rice or rice flour that's usually steamed and sometimes pounded or sliced. As a standalone food and traditional snack, it can go in all kinds of creative directions from there. Today, we're focusing on the latter category, and we'll be trying some of its many iterations, as well as some more modern rice-based desserts at a few of the best spots in Seoul for duck and related sweet treats. And to boot, we're also taking a little field trip to Seoul's very own Rice Cake Museum. It's another of our taste episodes, and it's time to make some moves. I'm John. And I'm Kang Shou. And this is Flavor of Mind. When I was born in Korea, when I was born in Korea, especially when I was born in Korea, I was born in Korea, and I was born in Korea, and I was born in Korea, I was born in Korea, and I was born in Korea, and I was born in Korea. 떡인데요. 단순하지만 굉장히 만족스럽고 제 마음을 훔치는 쫄깃함을 갖고 있는 떡은 솔직히 말해 미국에서 한국의 퀄리티를 찾기 힘든 음식 중에 하나입니다. 가끔 필라델피아의 한국 마트에서 사 먹긴 하지만요. 물론 존이 김치 코너에서 노닥거리고 있지 않을 때 말이죠. 하지만 저희는 여기 서울에 왔습니다. 이 아름다운 별미를 찬양하기 위해 저희는 서울이 현존하는 떡집 중 가장 오래된 곳중한 곳에서 여행을 시작합니다. 낙원동에 위치한 낙원떡집은 100년이 넘는 역사를 지니고 있으며 이곳의 첫 번째 주인은 조선 후기 궁궐의 음식을 만들던 분께 떡 만드는 법을 배웠다고 합니다. 전통적인 떡에 있어서 이곳은 서울에서 가장 인기 있는 곳중 하나입니다. 저희는 저녁에 가게를 닫기 직전에 급히 들렀어야 해서 한 가지 떡만 사서 숙소에서 먹기로 했는데요. 내일 아침으로 먹어보려고요. 자, 그럼 시간을 빨리 돌려. 아침입니다. 이번 영상에서 처음으로 맛볼 떡은 묵직하고 통통한 두텁떡입니다. 서구인들에게 일본식 모찌로 알려져 있는 떡과 비슷하기도 한데 이 두텁떡은 찹쌀과 쑥으로 만들어져 달달한 파 담금, 깨, 그리고 잘게 다져진 견과류가 소로 들어가 있고 겉에는 볶은 콩가루가 묻혀져 있습니다. 이 폭신한 베개와 같은 식감이 가장 먼저 두드러집니다. 찹쌀은 부드럽고 잘 늘어나면서 겉에 묻은 콩가루와 만나 입안에서 느껴지는 느낌이 놀랍게 섬세합니다. 떡 안의 소는 진하면서 건강한 맛으로 달달함을 감추지 않으면서도 신선한 팥의 맛으로 가득 차 있습니다. 밸런스를 맞춰주는 깨와 쑥은 진하면서 편안하고 풍부한 향에 살짝 쌉쌀한 맛을 더해줍니다. 그리고 작은 견과류 알맹이들도 참 좋습니다. 겉에서 보기엔 단순해 보이지만 이 떡은 인상적인 맛과 질감을 가지고 있습니다. 낙원떡집 탐방은 짧았지만 이곳은 그 명성에 부합하는 훌륭한 떡집인 것은 분명합니다. 저희는 반드시 여기에 돌아올 거고요. 하지만 지금은 다음 행선지로 떠날 시간입니다. 넥스트, Broadly speaking, they can be categorized by process. There's steamed duck, boiled duck, pounded duck, which is cooked and then beaten until very dense and chewy, traditionally with a big daddy hammer, shaped duck, typically molded by hand and stuffed with something tasty, and pan fried duck, which comes in a number of versions. From there, all sorts of flavors can get involved. Chestnut, acorn, ginseng, red bean, pine needle, radish, flowers, honey, dates, and on and on and on. Korean culinary artisans have been making creative waves in this realm for ages. 
Aside from a huge trove of detailed rice cake replicas, the museum also delves into the old school ways of making dal. And man, they've got the gear. Your grinding stones, your rice sifters, your molds, your big daddy hammers. Whatever you need, this place has you covered. While we could hang here for a lot longer, we want to further explore duck in the best way possible, eating it. And with that being said, it's on to our next location. Now we're shimmying over to Mangwontong, a neighborhood we came through for our last episode on beef ribs. We're here for Gyeonggi Dokji, another shop that's highly regarded by Seoul foodies. Operating in some form since 1958, this spot also primarily focuses on traditional dok. And among its many good items, one of the most popular things here is itit dok, a North Korean style rice cake that we'll be getting to in a moment. Since the store space is quite small, we're grabbing a selection of choice goodies and once again heading back to our spot. Let's roll. The first item we're trying is Suk Hugenjai in Jolmi a pounded glutinous rice cake that's again made with mugwort and then coated in coarsely ground black sesame seed and a touch of salt. Fair warning, there's gonna be a lot of mugwort in this episode. Koreans use it for rice cake, teas, soups, trendy desserts, and more. And I love the stuff. As for this injolmi, folks, this is a total knockout. It only has a tiny hint of sweetness, but it's so soft and supremely chewy and stretchy. On top of that, the amount of black sesame flavor here is just epic, with a fresh blast of dark, pungent savoriness. And while you chew it down, notes of salt, sweet, and herb start popping out. This is so in your face, yet it turns into something so well balanced. Sign me up for the fan club. Second up is a steamed non-glutinous rice cake called sorgi, in this case made with black sesame and muscovado, a dark brown sugar with a strong molasses flavor. This one's more soft and crumbly, and the black sesame is a bit more toned down, but the freshness and the caramely flavor are both really pleasant. We also got a muscovado and strawberry sorgi, more directly sweet and with an attractive fruity aroma. Now the iti duck that was mentioned earlier. This specialty consists of particularly thick slabs of pounded glutinous rice that are sandwiched between layers of sweet bean paste. Kyongi's paste is almost like a creamy bean icing, and it complements the ultra chewy feel brilliantly. Then another variation of iti duck, using duck slabs made with susu, or sorghum. It's less dense, with a more savory, fibrous taste, and in a different way, it's also excellent. With everything we've tried here, texture reigns supreme, and you can easily taste the love that goes into the food. It's time to change gears, but can we get one more standing O for this black sesame injolmi? I'm gonna have to stash some of these under my pillow.이카페안에서판매하고우편주문도받습니다저희가이곳에간날은정말덥고습했는데요게다가점심으로기름진돼지고기를배가터지게먹고난직후라좋은뭔가상큼하고신선한게매우땡겼죠저희의좋은친구
달달하고 부드럽고 보송보송한 하늘의 구름을 베어먹는 것 같달까요? 게다가 감칠맛까지 더해져서 제가 원래 이렇게 시적으로 말하는 사람이 아닌데 이건 정말 너무 맛있어서 맛을 그리다는 정말 특별함이 있는 곳입니다. 덕분에 저희는 100% 기운 충전에서 마지막 장소로 향합니다. 마지막 장소로 향합니다. Our last spot on the list is in Jamsho, in Seoul Songpa District. It's a tiny bakery and dessert shop called Songmi Rice Mill, and we've heard good things. This place makes highly crafted rice flour treats of the non-traditional variety, and everything in the store looks and smells legit. We're seated at the world's cutest table, and we've ordered two winners. Big surprise, one of them is a mugwort crumble rice flour cake, and next to that, their nutty black sesame crumble. First up is the cake, with alternating soft herby layers on the bottom, mugwort cream above that, and on top, a double whammy of dry salted mugwort crumble and roasted bean powder. It's phenomenal. Every component is teeming with deep fragrance, and that crispy crumble is especially dark and dank. The cream adds the perfect amount of moisture and sweetness, and the bean powder is also working some magic. This is a work of genius, and if somebody doesn't cut me off, I'm about to polish off five or six more of these. The black sesame crumble is also lovely. Not as strong in the dark and bitter department, but it's got a wonderful sesame aroma and rich, flavorful touches of butter, peanut, and sugar. It's also perfectly chewy. And then we're taking one more treat for a spin. Somi's Deep Earl Grey Bangdogi. It's an even more buttery pastry, with a mildly sweet but pungent Earl Grey tea filling that goes down way too easy. Soft, relaxing, and super satisfying. To say that this spot is great would be an understatement. The desserts here are mesmerizing and totally worth seeking out. And with that, it's closing time. 너무나 먹고 싶었던 떡과 쌀 디저트를 아주 만족스럽게 먹었고 그것들의 스포트라이트를 비출 수 있었던 영광된 시간이었습니다. 하지만 진실을 얘기하자면 이것은 빙산의 일각에 불과하고 세상엔 여전히 먹어봐야 할 다양한 떡들이 너무나 많습니다. 당연히 저희 할일 목록에 있고요. 저희의 탐험은 계속되니까 비디오 하단에 구독 버튼을 눌러서 다음에 올라올 영상들도 계속 시청해주세요. 함께해주셔서 감사합니다. 다음에 만날 때까지 건강하세요.